Uh, in NF1 uh, patients, we frequently see uh, a lot of cutaneous tumors. These are neurofibromas. Depending on the location, they can be either more superficial or more deeply seated, which can uh, be very um, disabling for the patients. And then these tumors have the propensity to frequently become uh, malignant. There are also other tumor types uh, affecting central nervous system. In neurofibromatosis type 2, uh, uh, we typically see different kinds of tumors. Uh, the most commonly seen tumor is an acoustic schwannoma. My name is Dr. Radhika Demija. I, along with Dr. Mrigala, co-direct the Neurofibromatosis Clinic at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. So we've put together a multidisciplinary effort to take care of patients with both neurofibromatosis type 1 and neurofibromatosis type 2. Both these conditions are genetically and phenotypically very distinct. These patients often have complex needs and need a multidisciplinary care. At Mayo Clinic, what we're really best at is complex care. And this is a great example of our ability to truly translate idealism into action. When you come to Mayo Clinic as a neurofibroma patient, you're going to get to meet all of your specialists. And where plastic surgery comes in is, is helping to plan the incisions, helping to execute the operations, and helping to ensure that that patient gets the most aesthetically pleasing outcome at the end of that operation. Our goal um, as neuro-oncologists when we work alongside of the neurosurgeon is to make sure that we're able to maximize the amount of treatment the patient is able to receive, specifically surgery um, in many cases, while preserving their neurologic function. We're so fortunate here at Mayo to have a proton beam facility, and there are certain instances where proton therapy is even far superior to typical photons. Having the ability to collaborate with a different specialist really helps us make sure that we're able to take the best care of the patients, and also to make sure that from a neurologic standpoint, we don't lose sight of who they are as a person and what's important. For more information on this condition or to refer a patient to us, please call us or visit us at mayoclinic.org.